Hi everyone, this is Ray Luskin from The Winning Adventure, and I'm here to, get, to give you a few tips on how you can rev up your creativity. The first one we've talked about before, but I'm going to mention it again, scribbles and doodles. Get out your crayons and just scribble and doodle. And if you don't like scribbling and doodling, get a coloring book. Take it with you to the office, and whenever you get the urge, you know, just color it in. And if you really want to stretch yourself, make sure every page is different. That will test and challenge you to be a little bit more creative. The second thing is to get some Play-Doh. I love playing with Play-Doh. Um, I love it. I play with my granddaughter on Skype all the time. We'll be making necklaces together and bracelets and, and rolling balls and doing things. And it's great if you're a little stressed too, you can play with it. So that's tip number two. The third one is to go to the hardware store and allow yourself to spend five dollars max. See what you can get for that. You know, screws and, and, and washers and you can go and get free paint chips and then come home and create something with it. What could you create? A centerpiece for your table? Some new little invention? And, and include yourself and your family if you want. It's a great family activity. Three, I, I would love it if you could take a paper bag now and start thinking of at least 15 ideas that you could do with a paper bag. The first three or four are going to be easy, but then you're going to start stretching yourself. How could I use this paper bag? So that's tip. And now the next one is get a get your kids set of blocks. If you have kids or go to the store, they don't cost a lot, and play building blocks or kachanga is a game or jenga. And, you know, play with the box. See what happens. That can tap into your imagination. I used to play endlessly with my son. We would build all these imaginary cities and streets, and we'd have all these stories going on about castles we would build. So have a good time with that. Next thing is keep an idea journal. That's right. Every day, whatever comes to you, write it, write it down. One point I was like, I, I thought about all these businesses I wanted to have and, and it was, be, you know, and I'd write them down and I went back over the years and I said, oh my God, that one's actually in existence now. That one's in existence. And, you know, just even the idea, I have a dog and I walk the dog at night and it's, you know, I, and I kept saying, God, I wish there was somewhere on there I could put some money or my keys. I wish I had a flashlight. And so I talked to an inventor friend of mine. He was going to do it for me. And then he looked it up and he said, oh, somebody's already done it. But it's great. It's a great way to just keep your ideas going. So every day have an idea journal. Then, Next idea is turn on the music and dance. Just move. Do whatever you have to do. Move and shake and rattle and roll. And if you want, sing along. You know, all of us, you know, don't have a great voice. Certainly not me. But I love to sing. I like to sing at the top of my lungs in the car. I don't sing in the shower, but I know a lot of friends who do. Next, take a book and open it up and just put your finger on a word or, or a line and just write anything you can about that. Free associate whatever comes to you. Uh, at Oxford, they used to do this exercise with students. They'd give them one word, and they had to write for three hours. So I'm only asking you to write for 10 minutes, but have a great time with that. And finally, try something new. You know, we all get stuck in our habits and patterns, you know. So go to work a different way. Stop at a different restaurant. Try new seasonings in your food. Uh, something simple that can be challenging at times is just do this exercise where you put your thumbs together and go like that. How does that feel? Just something simple. But it, ha it makes you feel uncomfortable. But that creates new neural pathways. So do something different today. And this is Ray Luskin, and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.